Decades before the women's right to vote, your words, your work, your attention to detail carved the way for other scientists. You didn't let your skirts get in the way. It's August 19th, 1910 now. And I'm so sorry, Mary, I had to leave this world so soon. I will carry on my brother's glacier research on my own. I feel compelled to continue recording the retreat of these glaciers that we first observed over 20 years ago. Mary, I wished you did not have to wear such clothing to go in the field. My dear sister, I'm so thrilled that you're carrying on our research. I wonder how far the glacier has retreated. The ice seems to be disappearing so quickly. I know that this is a lot of work for you to be on your own here now, but I think that you've made the right decision to continue with this work. It is difficult to believe that I'm in the right place, but this is most definitely the rock we marked to map the recession of the glacier. Hard to believe how far the glacier has moved in one year, and yet the glacier still retreats. Mary, our journal! It is pleasant to have some tangible results to show and use to map the retreat. Who would imagine that you mapped the glacier for five decades? Or that you would publish your glacier observations in the Canadian Alpine Journal? The study of glacial recession in Glacier National Park Canada was started by our family over 125 years ago. The Illusilwa Glacier is the longest studied glacier in North America.